world would look like if you could see it through some of these weird animal eyes? Do animals see the same things we do? Shh. I can't find my food. Well, first of all, animals see only what they need to see to stay alive. For most animals, this boils down to two things. Where's my food? Number one, finding food. Oh, no, some animals got my... Number two, avoiding danger. If you were a predator like a tiger, how would you get food? Well, you'd have to be able to catch it. And in order to do that, it helps to have eyes that face forward. If your eyes face forward, the images from each eye overlap. This helps you to judge the distance to objects in front of you. The reason is that each eye sees the world from a slightly different angle. You can check this out with your own eyes. Just hold up a finger in front of your face and switch from one eye to the other. Your finger seems to shift back and forth in relation to objects in the background. This only happens when one object is closer than another. Your brain uses this clue to tell how close things are. And that's why most predators have eyes on the front of their face. It gives them excellent depth perception, which makes it easier to catch prey. However, things are different if you're the one being hunted. Eyes that face forward may be great for catching food, but they're not very good at spotting danger sneaking up from behind you. Nope, if you're the one being hunted, it's much better to see as wide an area as possible in just one glance. Take this llama, for instance. Look at where its eyes are located. Instead of being on the front of its head, they're on the sides. Eyes up front give you a field of view like this. Eyes on the sides, however, give you a much wider field of view. With almost 360-degree wraparound vision, you can see most of your surroundings in one glance, which makes it almost impossible to sneak up on you. That's why many animals that are hunted by other creatures have eyes on the sides of their head. But what would you do if you happened to be both predator and prey? Well, the chameleon has a unique way of solving this problem. It can move each eye independently. It's the only creature that has this ability. Imagine if you could do this. You could easily scan the area for danger with each of your eyes working separately. And if you happen to spot potential food, you could then use both eyes together to zero in on your next meal. Chief, a chameleon seems to have the best of both worlds. But it would be even better if you had more than two eyes. Like a spider, most spiders have between six and eight eyes. They've got eyes on the front of their head as well as eyes on the sides. They use the front eyes to zero in on prey and the side eyes to keep a lookout for danger. The eyes at the front form an image of what's ahead. The eyes on the side don't form images, they just detect motion. When this happens, the spider swings its main eyes around in that direction to take a better look. Eight eyes may seem like a lot, but it's nothing compared to what a fly has. Flies have what are called compound eyes. The outer surface of a compound eye is made up of hundreds of tiny lenses. Each lens directs light down onto its own set of photoreceptors. Together, they function like a miniature eye. So what does the world look like through so many eyes? No, not like that. Fly vision in the movies often shows the same image over and over again. But the eyes of a real fly see the world much differently. Each lens captures a small part of the total scene. But when they're all put together, they form one complete image. It's pretty grainy compared to ours. But the fly makes up for this in a couple of different ways. Each lens of a compound eye points outward in a different direction, giving the fly a wide field of view. So what a fly sees actually looks more like this. Great for spotting approaching danger. Fly's eyes.
eyes are also great at detecting motion. Another reason they're so hard to swat. You see, to a human, a fly swatter looks like a blur. But to a fly, it actually looks nice and sharp. So how does a fly do it? Well, Chris's eyes work by sampling the action in front of them up to 60 times a second. Think of it as Chris's eyes taking 60 snapshots every second. The fly's eyes, on the other hand, take almost 300 snapshots every second. Here's a slow motion version of what Chris sees. To his eyes, sampling 60 times a second, the fly swatter looks blurry. But to the fly's eyes, sampling 300 times per second, the fly swatter looks nice and sharp. This allows a fly to navigate at high speeds without hitting anything. Remember this the next time you try to swat one. Of course, there's always that one lucky shot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have it now.